What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to create an elevation view in your model without having to use section planes. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so a lot of the time when you're trying to create elevation views, um, it gets a little tricky because things kind of get in the way. Like for example, if I was trying to create an elevation view in this model that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse, um, which, by the way, is a really cool kitchen by user Shina. But if I was to try to create an elevation view of this back wall, that can get a little bit difficult because of all the things that are in the way. Like, for example, if I come in here and I just kind of create an elevation just by uh, using the front view, you can see how there's lots of different things that get in the way so you can't see this back wall. And so what we've done in the past is one of the things you could do is you could come in here and you could model a section plane. So I could come in here... I could create a section plane that's forward. I could set my camera to the front view. I could turn off perspective and that'll give me an elevation view. And that definitely works. Um, the issue with that is what that does is that starts getting complicated because you have a ton of section planes in here that you have to start managing and that sort of thing. So what we're gonna do instead is there's a little trick you can use in order to create elevations quickly and easily. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set perspective to off. And the reason for that is because we want everything to show up without going back to a vanishing point. So you can see how right now, if I set this to an elevation, these are all going back to a vanishing point in the background, so it's not a true elevation. So you're just gonna to go to camera, and you're just gonna click parallel projection. And so that, you can see how now these are actually true elevations. They're not going towards a vanishing point. Um, this is literally like if you were to take the model and just cut it. So now we've got this in um, parallel projection view. It's kind of ready for us to go ahead and create our elevation. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the position camera tool. So the position camera tool can be found in the large tool set. And if you can't find the large tool set, just go up to view, toolbars, and just find large tool set and click the checkbox next to that and click close and that should show up and what you're looking for is you're looking for the little image of the little guy that's standing on the X and so we're gonna click on that and one of the things people don't necessarily know about this tool is you can actually use it to set up your not only where your camera's located but also what you're looking at like for example you can click on a point and then drag your cam your mouse and then you can set what your camera is looking at. So you're gonna click and hold to say we wanna set our camera here on top of this counter. And then uh, we're gonna click and drag up to this corner and we're gonna let up on that. That may work a little bit better in perspective view actually. So if we click and drag right there and then click up to that corner, that's gonna set your camera right on top of this counter and it's gonna set it looking at this corner. So that's one thing you can do with this. But the other thing we can do is this will actually, if we click and drag along one of the axes, it'll create an elevation view. So if I was to click and drag forward over here, it would create an elevation view from this front side. But not only that, if we depending on where we click, it'll kind of clip um, some of our geometry out of our image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a point that's past all of these walls and all of this casework and I'm just going to click once on this point and then I'm going to drag along the green axis and it's important that you do this along the green axis so that you get the actual elevation view but as I click and drag what that's going to do is that's going to clip out everything that's behind that camera image and so now what you've got is you've got this nice elevation view without having to deal with any section planes and so if we were going to want to export this to layout, we'd just go up to view, animation, add scene, and we'd set a scene up with this elevation. That way if you rotate around um, and you want to go back to it, you can just click on it. So, and then if you ever get to a point where you want all that to kind of go away, just click on any of these default views. So you can click like zoom extents will do it, or if you click on any of these views up here, then they'll remove your clipping as well. Um, so not only can we do that for elevation views though, we can also do that for floor plan views. So right now if I click on this top down view, you can see how all my upper cabinets are getting in the way of me being able to see what my counters look like. So what you could do 
is you could come in beneath your upper cabinets and do the same thing. So you'd click once on this wall or any point that's below these cabinets and then you'd click and drag straight down so this is along the blue axis. And you can see how that gives you a view without showing you any of the upper cabinets. And then one thing I've really struggled with and I haven't quite figured it out yet is if you click and drag straight down from a point Sometimes your camera angle gets a little bit funky. Like if I click on this wall and I drag straight down, it's gonna give me that view that I want, but it's kind of at a weird angle. But then sometimes if you click and click on this top down view in order to reset your camera, um, it's not gonna it's not gonna hide that stuff that was up above your point anymore. But then other times, if you come in here and you click on the wall, and you create the same view and you kind of rotate and pan around a little bit first. Whoops. Then it'll work fine. You can see how it actually clipped out those walls or uh, the upper cabinets that were in there. So I'm not really sure exactly why that works. Um, you may have to fool around with this just a little bit to get it to work on the straight up and down view. But in any case, it's still a very useful way to be able to quickly pull floor plans and elevations and then again you just create a scene and then you could easily and quickly take these and send them to layout and then once you get it in layout you can give it a scale in order for you to be able to quickly generate those plans out of here and you could also come in and you could kind of adjust the materials if you wanted to if you wanted this to be more of just a like a black and white type thing you could do a lot of different things with this so that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video leave a comment below let me know what you thought um, is this helpful to you I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week if you like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon um, even if it's only a dollar a month that would just really help me kind of offset the cost of running this channel but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video thanks guys